Hey guys, for my next empties video, I'm going to be going over some face products and some hair products. I'm going to combine them all. I definitely had overdue items for empties for an empties video, so I have split them up over a few videos, so definitely check out the others. So I'll just quickly go over and let you guys know very briefly sort of what I thought of the items that I have used up. So I will start with hair. Now I've got a humongous hairspray. This is from Goldwell and it's the Style Fix Hair Lacquer. Hold Factor 10. I love this hairspray. It's definitely one that I have repurchased over and over again. Um, I'm pretty sure you can pick these up from a lot of different places, even Priceline. And I find it's the one hairspray that really seems to hold my hair in place without making it too hard or too crunchy, um, but I don't get any flyaways. So if you have things like fringes, this does a really beautiful job at sort of taming them and keeping them in place. I've got a dry shampoo from Batiste, and this is for medium and brunette hair, which I absolutely love. I think at the moment I'm actually using a just a random normal version of this and I definitely find it makes my hair quite white and grayish tinge so if you've got dark hair definitely recommend picking up the medium brunette um, colored one because it prevents your hair from going um, white but if you're like me I tend to get a really oily scalp really quite quickly and the ends will be completely fine this will just help me go an extra day or two without having to wash my hair sort of every second day after it's already been washed. So definitely love that. I picked this up because I thought I would give it a go to see how it was. It's the VO5 Give Me Texture Dry Texturizing Spray with Sea Salt um, for effortless sexy undone hair. And I have to say I wasn't really impressed with it. I was sort of hoping it would sort of really kind of plump up my hair but give me like a sea salt spray easy look but it didn't really seem to do that it really didn't give me much texture at all in my hair um, I did find it kind of felt a bit like a dry shampoo in the way um, but wasn't really impressed with it now I've got another mini hairspray here from GHD it's the style final fix hairspray this I didn't really like I found um, it quite as thick heavy hairspray and especially if you use it in your fringe it seemed to weigh down my hair quite a bit um, and it just it didn't really do a very good job at all so wasn't impressed with that now I've got a shampoo here that has really been awesome for um, psoriasis or um, itchy flaky scalps it's from Redwin and it's the Coltar fragrance shampoo this does have a really strong sort of fragrance to it most sort of flaky scalp shampoos have a particular scent sort of like the tea gel type scent um, but this was actually really nice to sort of calm my scalp down and stop it from itching this is one that I actually don't think I can use while I'm pregnant um, I'm pretty certain a lot of sort of medicated shampoos or shampoos that are for sort of like psoriasis or itchy scalps um, they recommend not to use while you are pregnant but it is one that I love if you get an itchy scalp and you get an irritated scalp especially with psoriasis and it gets really painful this did really soothe my scalp and um, and I mean it did a really nice job at um, at cleaning my hair so that one was pretty good all right so on to face products so the first one I've got here is a cleanser this is from Garnier it's the micellar cleansing water all-in-one I love this um, I heard a lot of people actually compare this to the bioderma I can't think of what it's called the bioderma sort of cleansing water um, and I love this this did an awesome job especially at removing waterproof mascara any type of mascara or really dark heavy eye makeup and the main reasoning that I would sort of use this is if I have gone out for the day or for the night and I've come home at night and I don't necessarily want to have a shower to take off my makeup um, I'll use this on some cotton pads and take my makeup off that way and it definitely does an amazing job at taking everything off and I actually have tested this out and used my Clarisonic afterwards with like a with a cleanser and it didn't take it didn't really find any extra foundation that definitely says a lot because sometimes I find with products like this and the cleansing makeup wipes you know I still have a lot of residue on my face where I, I kind of feel like I need to still wash my face but this I 
I really don't so I do actually really love it and you can get it quite cheap as well which is awesome now this is a product I really didn't like I think there's still some in here but it is definitely going it's the Australian pure beauty sensitive face wash and this has got lily pilly and wattle seed now the thing that really made me sort of want to pick this up is that it says it's got no mineral oil no synthetic fragrance that it's a plant-based formula you know it's meant to be all all organic and natural and fresh but it really didn't do a nice job at all it seemed to really dry out my skin quite a bit didn't like the formula didn't really take off any makeup or anything so I think if you were looking for a basic face wash to not really do anything other than wash your face then it might be okay um, but I really wasn't impressed with it now I've just come across another um, hair product this is from John Frieda and it's the Beach Blonde Ocean Waves Sea Salt Spray. I think I got this in a Bella box. And I really actually like this. I hadn't actually used any other sea salt sprays before this. So this was my first one. And um, it did a really beautiful job. So I did enjoy that. Um, I definitely want to pick up another sea salt type spray. So if you have recommendations of any that you really like and recommend, please definitely let me know. I've then got the Nutramedics Nutra Spa Recharging Hydration Mist with Ruby. Um, this one I didn't particularly like. Um, I didn't really enjoy the scent of it. I sort of tried to just really use this up towards the end just to get rid of it. So um, on hot days I would use it to spray on my arms or on my face just as more of a refreshing spray. Um, but definitely not something I'd go out of my way to get again. Now I've got a toner here from Chanel and it's the Lotion Purette Fresh Mattifying Toner. Um, I really love this. It took me a really long time to actually get through this because I just didn't want to finish it. I didn't want it to be gone. It was really beautiful. It was pricey because it's Chanel, um, but it did a really gorgeous job. And I actually don't really use any toners now whatsoever. It's probably something I should be using, but I've just never really found any other toners that I really sort of love and enjoy um, and because of the price I mean it's not realistic to continue buying this um, so again with toners if you've got recommendations definitely let me know so I've got a cleanser here from Aveeno this is the positively radiant cleanser five factors of radiance now this wasn't too bad of a cleanser I did actually um, enjoy this quite a bit but again this is a cleanser that you can't use to take up take off your makeup because it just won't work it might get rid of your foundation if you use like a face cloth or something um, but for mascara it won't remove any of it you'll end up with raccoon eyes um, but again if you're looking for a cleanser just as an everyday daily cleanser not to take your makeup off it was really nice to use now I've got a sample here from fresh that I used up and it was the black tea age delay eye concentrate with noni juice this was amazing I love this it was a beautiful eye cream it was a very thick formula it made my eyes feel really tight and refreshed absolutely loved it and I would definitely pick this up um, so yeah highly recommend and if we can get our hands on it here in Australia um, I will be buying it 110% uh, so left I've got two face cleansers um, and I've got two of each of them <laughs> so the first one is the Neutrogena Naturals fresh cleansing and makeup remover I have spoken about these for really quite a while now and I absolutely love them so I think you're always going to see these in my empties videos I did go through two of them I think I actually have one that's almost finished up at the moment as well this is my daily face cleanser to remove my makeup. I don't really use anything else to do it. It gets rid of waterproof mascara, really dark black smoky eyes, um, black smoky eyeliner, really thick full coverage foundation and it is just beautiful. And I found since switching to this particular line, the Neutrogena Naturals line, that my skin has just changed so much in a way that it is just so much cleaner and fresher I re rarely get breakouts as much as I used to um, and I just um, I seem to really love it so since buying these uh, I don't really use any other cleansers unless I get them in sample boxes and things like that these are really my go-to cleansers nowadays and then the last face cleanser again a double up again it's from Neutrogena Naturals and it's the purifying pore scrub 
this stuff has been really quite amazing for my skin and the, the lovely thing about this particular line as well is it's got no harsh chemicals, sulfates, parabens, dyes, flafates, if that's how you say it. But it's got none of that nasty stuff and it's 94% naturally de derived. And um, since using this again, I've just noticed my skin change so much. And the, the main thing I love about the particular pore scrub is it's not too heavy. It's not sandy or grainy, um, as in like a hard sand. It's, it's slightly grainy, but it's a very, very subtle, soft version. And when I initially used it, I thought, this doesn't have enough grittiness to it to really kind of get into my acne and clear it up. But I was completely wrong. Over time, I did find my skin changed. And now, this is the perfect way of get, getting rid of any blemishes for me. So as soon as I notice any type of chin breakouts, which are normally my number one problem, or any little breakouts around my face, um, I use this and they will just go away. And, um, and I pre they prevent... It prevents them from getting worse for me, which is definitely my go-to. The other thing I love about this one, I will just mention quickly, is that it's soft enough that I can use it in winter and summer. And in summer, I definitely bump it up and use it almost every day. In winter, it doesn't dry my skin out too much. Um, I do find that I use it a, a lot less frequent in winter, you know, every couple of days rather than every day, just so my skin doesn't dry out too much. Um, but again, super, super love this and it will always be in my empties videos because it's definitely my go-to face scrub. So that is everything for this empties video. I hope you guys are having a wonderful week and I'll see you soon. Bye.